Tap Bishop here. I got a video question today. I'll put the video right here. Okay, speed limit here is 70 miles an hour. I'm going 65. Now, I sympathize with truckers. You know, they got a hard job to do. But when you're going to hold up traffic for the sake of, I mean, if you're going to pass somebody, pass somebody. Don't just hang in the freaking left lane and go under the speed limit I, I don't know Tack Bishop tell me what's going on because this, this is aggravating and he ain't getting well now he's getting over but if you're going to pass man pass don't hold up traffic bonehead okay, I'm talking to you Okay, now here's the answer. I'll play it along. I'll, he's going 65. The UPS truck on the right is probably governed down to 62 miles an hour. They could be going up a hill, but he's probably governed set at 62 miles an hour. The Clendon truck can probably run 65. And when he started to make his move, you know, when you're going two to three miles an hour faster than somebody else, it's going to take a while to get around. There's nothing he can do about it. Um, this this comes from someone in, in an office somewhere deciding that the drivers that they've hired are not responsible enough to drive the truck like they're supposed to, so they have to govern the truck down to keep him from going 80 miles an hour down the highway. You know, that was a bonehead move. Um, it was just as much the UPS guy on the right's fault. Um, I had the same problem. I have a truck that's governed down to 65 miles an hour. And if somebody starts passing me like that, I'm going to get off a little bit. If I, if I realize he, he can't get around me that quick, I'm not going to sit there and hold him up for three miles trying to get around me when you can slow down just a little bit and then, then pick back up your speed. It's not that big of an inconvenience to do on the guy getting past part. But on the other guy, there's nothing he can do. He can either sit behind you at your governed speed, or he can get out and pass and block traffic and take ever how long, you know. And it's just a shame it has to be that way. I the 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 truck I drove with the mail company was the same way. They would govern the truck down to sixty five on the cruise control, but they wouldn't allow you to go seventy two on the uh, pedal so if you needed to pass you could pass or if you wanted to be a hot rod you could hold the pedal down but day after day after day you get tired of holding the pedal down and you just go to whatever the cruise control says you know so that, and that's the whole theory behind that is you're not going to continuously go 72 miles an hour but that's sort of a long answer to a short question just govern trunks trucks if he could have went 70, 75 and got on around, I'm sure he would have. It's, it's really a bad feeling. I've done the same thing. I pulled out and you, you look back, you think, well, nobody's coming. I can make it. You make your move and you see you're not getting anywhere and you keep looking back, hoping you're not going to hold up traffic. And But when traffic's running 10 miles an hour faster than you are, they're going to catch you pretty quick. And you can either do one or two things there. You can either fall back and get back where you were which is going to be irritating again in itself, or you can continue on and try to get around this little problem and hope that he'll back off a little bit and allow you to get back in instead of being the dickhead that the UPS guy was being and continue holding his speed and holding this other truck out. So, um, 
It's just the way truck, some truck drivers are. They just won't allow you back in. Um, for example, I'll continue on with this video. For example, once in a while, a truck will be merging into traffic, and he, he can't speed up or slow down like a car, so we, we come out in whatever speed we need to come out in. And when the truck's merging into traffic, I pull over to allow him to merge in, and we're going the same speed. We're both going at 65. He comes on at 65. I pull over at 65. Now, why would you want to hold me out in the fast lane when I got over so you could merge in? You know, but it, it's happened more than one time. This guy's being a bonehead driver when he should allow me to get back in because I moved over to allow him to get on the highway. I could have just sat in the slow lane and, and made him adjust his speed, but... You know, it's just, it's just the way some of these bonehead drivers are. They're, they're more than you think. All truck drivers are not professional. There's a lot of them out there that are purely bonehead. So, anyway, hope that answered the question. Tech Bishop, signing out.